All right, welcome back to another video from the Jeep. So somebody asked me to talk about uh, what I thought the impact of the election would have on cryptocurrency and the broader market. So I wanna talk about that in this video. I also wanna talk about something else that could affect us, I think in a positive manner in relation to crypto. And that is the petrodollar or the demise of the petrodollar. And this actually would be bad for the economy, but uh, it could be good for crypto investors. I will explain uh, in this video, my thoughts on that. First, let me talk about the election. So you know, what is crypto and the broader market gonna do with the election or the outcome, well, it's going to depend on what happens. So one thing that that markets don't like, they hate it, and they will respond negatively, like by dumping, uh, is uncertainty. They don't like uncertainty. When shit goes wrong in the world, like when COVID came along, the uncertainty, right? We had a huge COVID dip in the markets. Uh, they don't like uncertainty in elections or anything else. So here's what we could have. We could have leading up to this election, like in the, in the, just the weeks just preceding the election, Potentially, we could have arguments about and concerns about like voter fraud, like electronic voting machines, illegals voting, all that kind of stuff. If we have election uh, uncertainty like that, we could potentially see a bit of a dump into going into the election. OK, so let's another thing that could happen if we end up in a situation where there is a contested election, where there are allegations of voter fraud and uh, demands for a voter recount and all that kind of stuff and things are drawn out, I would expect the market to dump. This is the stock market. This is the crypto market, right? It's probably going to dump. Okay, so it, once someone is selected, and I say selected, for those of you who know, you know, once someone is selected <laughs> to become president, um, selected or elected, but selected is probably better. Once someone is selected to become president, and it's known, uh, then I expect the markets to uh, perform very well. I think they're going to be happy. I think the markets will go up. How much they go up? I don't know. I think if Trump were to be elected over Biden, uh, I think the markets would go up more uh, compared to Biden. But it's probably because of general expectations and thoughts that the favorable jobs and uh, jobs and tax cut act, I think that's what it was called, the tax cuts essentially would be extended. Because right now they're going to expire at the end of 2025. The tax cuts that Trump put into place when he was in office, they're expiring at the end of next year. So all everybody's tax rates, this, this actually, the Democrats will tell you that only the rich benefit from the tax cuts. That's complete bullshit because all you got to do is do a little bit of research. Basically, every tax bracket that will affect the poor, the middle class, the, the rates were lowered. OK, so it's everybody's taxes will go up if nothing is done to extend these tax rates, these tax cuts that we have. OK, so that's I, and I think the market would respond favorably, more favorably if Trump won versus Biden. I still think it would, re, you know, <clears throat> react positively if Biden were elected. But I think it would be more so if Trump were elected, just because of the expectation, the market expectation that Trump tax cuts would be extended. Now, whether or not that actually happens, I don't know. Obviously, the president doesn't have control over that. He has to work with Congress, right? They, they make the rules. They make they set the tax rates. So, so we'll see. But that's kind of one of my thoughts on that. I do want to talk about a bigger, broader issue, and that is the petrodollar. If you're not familiar with the the concept of the petrodollar or the the U.S. dollar as being the reserve currency, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It has allowed us as a country to basically become number one in the world, right? This is a big deal. The strength of our dollar affects our well-being. It affects our economic, uh, you know, uh, livelihood, you know, everything. Like the, the benefits of like everything we have here, this is based on the strength of the U.S. dollar and, and not just the strength here in the country, it's the strength abroad, you know, amongst all the countries. And it's because... I think it was 1974, it was back in the 70s, uh, it's like the Saudis agreed to sell oil in U.S. dollars, not in any other currency, it was in U.S. dollars. They're not doing that anymore. They've decided to sell it in multiple currencies, which is good for them. It gives them a benefit, right? They're not tied to the U.S. dollar, that's good for them. It's not so good for us because it's, in my opinion, it's, it signals one of the beginnings of the end of the American empire, honestly. It's like our our rise to power, our our country's place as just being a superstar among the world. It was really largely dependent on our powerful economic machine and the strength of our dollar and the acceptance of our dollar worldwide, you know, and 
And so this is one of these things where if you fast forward into the future, 20 or 30 years, I think we could have a very different America than what we have right now. And it, I, in many ways, I don't think it will be as good because our power is going to be lessened. And, and when that happens, it has economic side effects and they aren't good. Right, they're not good. Um, so, so anyway, so it's a big deal. It's a, certainly a big deal. And there are other things that are related to this too, like China has stopped buying as much of our debt as they used to. And I think they've started to sell some of our debt that they previously bought. I think that's what I read. Do your own research and all this stuff, but I think that's what I, I read. And you know, we're, we're in deep shit in this country with our national debt. And the interest payments on the national debt are insane. Like it's insane. It's it's a huge. I don't know how we're ever going to pay this off, folks. I don't know. Even if they increase tax rates just incredibly, I don't think we'd be able to pay it off in any reasonable amount of time. I just don't think. And so, this is what happens in countries that go through major debt reorganizations. They they can have things like austerity that affected like the Greeks, for example, and other countries too. And it's like, it's not going to be good. So anyway, so crypto, how would it, how could this potentially be related to, I guess, the demise of the petrodollar? Well, you know, the Saudis are accepting payment, you know, for, with different currencies like the Chinese yuan and different uh, other currencies. And so I, I can see them, you know, they're not going to say one day that they accept payment for oil in gold or silver. They're not going to do that. Highly unlikely. They're not going to say we accept payment in the form of Apple stock or Microsoft stock or whatever. Um, but they could, and they might accept payment in the form of cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, maybe some of those too. If that were to happen, man, that would be a huge boon for the crypto space. It's not going to happen this run. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. I shouldn't say that because they could always come out with a, uh, an announcement in the next few weeks that they're going to accept Bitcoin for oil because uh, they could. And it would be smart of them, I think, to do this. They're wise. I made a video on this a couple months ago. I think it was about five months ago. I did a video. I can't remember where it was in some Middle Eastern country. Um, it was ruled like a religious leader ruled that Bitcoin was okay by the laws of Islam, which is a huge deal. It basically meant that uh, the Muslim community over there basically had the gates opened and they could invest in crypto. And the Saudis, like the Saudi oil people, they have a ton of money. Um, they could absolutely come out and say, you know what, we want to accept payment for oil in Bitcoin because they know they're smart, right? They're obviously smart. They're super wealthy. They set up a great business, uh, but they could say, yeah, we'll definitely accept Bitcoin because they get paid in Bitcoin during the bear market. And then it's like, it just moons during the bull market. It's like, yeah, they absolutely. They would, you know, it would be dumb of them not to consider crypto specifically Bitcoin, maybe a few others to accept as payment. So if and when that happens, it will be a huge boon to all crypto investors because, you know, Bitcoin, if it's accepted and probably would be, it, you know, the, a rising tide raises all boats. So it's like it's going to it's going to benefit everybody in the crypto space. So we'll see what happens. I think it being a crypto investor, grayscale investor, a crypto ETF investor, um, you know, through subsequent bull runs will really benefit everybody you know and 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 if it happens you know if, if we see the same type of uh, investing as we have in the past just a very small percentage of the american population will actually get into crypto assets in one form or another they won't it's not it's still not widely accepted people don't trust it people think it's too risky they don't want it you know for whatever reason um so they won't get there but those who do i think will really benefit so this it's one of the assets that it's got a lot of potential uh, for sure for the future uh, you know, we've had talks about a CBDC, central bank digital currency in the U.S. and elsewhere over the past couple of years. And there are reasons why we might want it and reasons why we might not want it. Some bad things could be you know, happening when the government has control and insight as to what you're doing and what you're purchasing uh, habits are and all that kind of stuff. We, I don't think we want it. But still, the rise of digital currency uh in the realm of commerce and government is has been rising and i i would not be surprised if we uh you know if we if we see the saudis accept payment for oil 
in Bitcoin or some other crypto. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. All right, that's it for this video. If you guys have thoughts on how uh, the election will affect crypto or the broader markets, leave them in a the comment below. Same thing with the petrodollar, the Saudis, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, what, you, what do you think that for the future of crypto? What do you think it is? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Definitely interested to hear your opinion. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, you guys take care. Good luck.